Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Why is that? Because we are doing the 4570 government boo lot drop video. I'm going to try to make this one quick, but here's what we're working with. Tons of you guys have requested this. Sorry it's taking me so long, but here is my 4570. This is a Marlin model 1895. Some of you guys just cringed right there, but yes, I have a scope on my 4570. Ever since I put the scope on it, lots of haters, but hey, I love it, and I can put them in the same hole with this rig. All right, here's a three-shot group at 100 with the 300 grain Super X. See what we do. Not the best group, but good enough. Now let's bring it to 50 yards and send one at 50 and see where it hits at 50. Pretty much center. I'll be holding for that circle that's on the neck there. Oh, here goes three at 200. I can't even see the hole. I'm gonna go check the camera. It's at the bottom. That dropped a whole lot more than 12 inches. Might have something to do with my scope height, but it's honestly not much higher than a regular rifle scope would be. Send another one, see what kind of group we get. I think two of those are real close. While we're sitting here having fun, let's send another at 200. Well, there's our four shot group. We go grab those targets, take them back to the house, and we'll measure the groups where we don't have all this racket. See y'all at the house in a second. We'll take a look at these and take that drop chart all the way out to a thousand yards. All right, guys, so you just saw that in the footage. And like I said earlier, I'm gonna try to keep this short. So I did a three shot group at 100 yards. That 1895 does not necessarily like that uh, Boo Light, the Winchester Super X. It doesn't group it too too great. Is it good enough for hunting at 100 yards? Yeah, sure. But um, in my ammo test video, I found some that grouped a lot better than this. But hey, that's what I had at the time. Uh, brought it back to 50 yards. The average there is, is pretty much bullseye, right? Brought it back to 50 yards. Guess what? Is still dead on. So you sight your 45.70 in at 100. Just hold on, hold dead on at 50 yards. You're going to be golden. But then, what happened at 200 yards? <sighs> it really surprised me. It's dropping a lot faster than I expected. To tell you the truth. Uh, and with with my 1895, this is what happened. So I was holding here. They hit way down here, almost at the bottom of the paper. So I had two almost touching. And then one here, and then one way up here. So, a terrible group at 200 yards. Um, I'd like to redo this test with some different ammo that I know groups a lot better. Um, I'll do that as soon as I can, just because I want to know the information. But, for this test, at 200 yards, that Super X ammo, 300 grainers, dropped on average... 20 inches, 20 inches from the 100 yard zero to 200, it dropped 20 inches. So that's pretty terrible, <laughs> in my opinion. Why would you hunt with a 4570? I don't know. Maybe because you want to be a cowboy. I don't know. But, um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I have a very good friend who hunts with 4570, and he is a cowboy. So if you're watching this video, no offense at all. <laughs> but, I love 4570, I've hunted with it. But I'm just saying. Uh you know, you got a 300 wind mag, 7 millimeter mag. Why why hunt with a 4570? I don't know. Super disappointed in that drop. Now now I'm wanting to look at the box to see what they put on the box. Uh, so the box actually says here uh, if you sight it in at a hundred yards, it should drop twelve inches. Um that maybe that's with iron sights. But with my scope and all that, you know, the trajectories change from iron sights to scopes. Maybe that has something to do with it. But 
I'm actually going to take a picture of this and put it in there for you. Um, I'm going to take a picture of this sucker right now and show you what the box says the drop should do. But, hey, in the real world, the average was like 20 inches. So, let me show you. Um, I don't think I'm going to be taking any deer at 200 yards with my 4570, but if I need to, now I know. But uh, let me show you that drop chart all the way out to 1,000 yards. I just like to know the information, and I think it's really cool. That thing, man, at 1,000, you're going to be lobbing them in there. But let's check it out, see the drop at 1,000 yards. So here is the data I put in. This is the 300 grain Winchesters, 0.283 ballistic coefficient. Got that right off the box. Velocity, 1880 feet per second. My sight is a little bit high at two inches off the barrel. And I really don't even know what to expect, guys. So the box said it was supposed to drop 12 inches. In real life, it dropped 20 inches on average. And then when I look at the 200 yard drop here, it says 11 inches. So that's a lot closer to what the box says. Uh, Maybe my rifle just really doesn't like that Winchester Super X stuff. You saw there in the video, it's kind of flinging it all over the place. But uh, this is what the numbers say, the math stuffies, when you type it in the computer. 200 yards, 11 inch drop. 300 yards, 40 inch drop. And all the way down to 1,000 yards, whatever 1,159 inches is, but you can see the dials on your scope. That's 110 MOA or 32 mils. But there's the 4570 drop chart. I'm definitely going to have to do this one again with some different ammo, but this is the math from the job, the drop chart uh, using that ammo and that scope setup. But appreciate you guys watching. 4570 comment down below how much you love it i have flung a lot of boo lots out of this 4570 i've taken a monster axis deer with it uh hey it takes deers comment down below what do you think about 4570 do you have one which one do you have and why do you like it or why do you not like it uh lots of people don't like mine because i got a scope on it but hey i like it with a scope on it but appreciate y'all watching We'll see you guys on the next one. Stay tuned. We got a whole lot more videos coming. Comment down below what you want to see next time. Appreciate y'all. Hoo